Brandon Smilly from Elite FTS. This is part three of So You Think You Can Front Squat. Um, the third part is considerations for the front squat. So there's no actual demonstration or um, thing here. I'm just actually going to talk about it because it's much easier than typing. The first thing is using the front squat as a max effort exercise. Uh, I think it's popular to use more of a harness than anything else. But it's, it is a good max effort exercise, especially for a raw lifter. Uh, again, one to three reps, work up to a heavy single, double or triple, and then try to beat it in a few weeks. Um, the reason that I like it is because it's an upper back developer and it also builds the quads for raw lifting. So you have to keep a nice vertical torso. It tries to pull you forward. You have to keep that upper back arched nice and tight. Um, that's why I think it's a great lift. Now for raw lifters, I think it's even better because you get more quad development. Um, and you actually have to work in the hole. You have to be really strong in the hole to keep that upper back tight, just as in gear or anything else. But I think it translates better for raw than it does for gear. Um, and then you can also use it as to build that lift uh, from either the max effort work or an assistance work, high rep work, uh, any of the above. Then the raw versus gear debate. Raw is becoming big, so front squatting is becoming big. The, the ways you can change the front squatting is with pauses, bands, you can still use chains. Um, the ideas are really limitless, but you also want to kind of keep it still pretty simple. I mean, you don't need to go outrageous with it. Um, but I do think it is a good thing to throw in from time to time. You don't want to just use the front squat all the time, but I think it's good to throw in for maybe a block of training and pull it out and then substitute something in as in different bars or variations and then throw it back in and you can use that to test your back squat without actually having to test your back squat because usually if your front squat's going up your back squat's going to go up um, then it also comes down to olympic shoes versus flat sole shoes i myself squat in olympic shoes and i think it works way better on front squatting plus you get more quad emphasis but you can also do it flat sole shoes many people like it and if you have the mobility to do it that's great. If you don't, then I think Olympic shoes make it a lot easier. But when it comes down to gear, most gear people lift in flat sole shoes. So you probably want to try to do it in flat sole shoes. Um, that's all the considerations that I have for the front squat. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Thank you.